Well, it has been an exciting few days for the Sacred Hearts Academy St. Louis School varsity cheer team. They're returning to school today as national champs. We sent Dallas Ontiveros to the school and he joins us live more with their victory. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Kelly. That's right, we're still here at Sacred Hearts Academy. Go ahead and give it up. Pumped up and ready to go for an amazing victory that just happened. St. Louis and Sacred Hearts Academy cheer. They just got back from Las Vegas, a jams competition. They did so well, but here joining us on Take Two, we have Ryan, who's the uh, athletic director. Good morning, Ryan. Morning, thank you for being here. No, thank you so much for having us here. I mean, tell me how you're feeling seeing uh, these boys and these girls come back from an awesome competition from Las Vegas. It's really exciting. We overwhelm ourselves with pride being overall grand champions on a national level. And our girls really are celebrities up there, but it's a culmination of hard work. These girls work hard starting before the summertime, and, and they grind and they work. And not only do they work hard on their craft, they support everybody else. So they're, they're some of the busiest student athletes. They're, they sacrifice, but they represent our community so well. And you know what, it's really interesting because they come together to compete overseas, but here in the state of Hawaii, there's actually two teams, an all-girls team and an all-guys team coming from St. Louis. And I don't know about you, but you don't really hear all-male cheer teams too often. Um, tell me, why is it important for your students to maybe branch out and just look at different art options to be a part of a team and be a good representation for the school and for the state of Hawaii? Well, putting yourself in uncomfortable situations and challenging yourself to master skills really shows you who you can be and opens you up to so much more success. For this program, they compete against each other in the ILH, but they practice together. So it's really about making yourself better. You know, when your direct competition is on the other side of the map, but you're working together, and then it gives our kids a co-educational experience. Boys and girls working together in the classroom, we believe functioning uh, single gender is best, but after school, getting together and working together in a co-ed setting is just awesome for our kids. Very good. There you go. Uh, good point, Ryan. Thank you so much. And with that being said, we have someone very special that we're going to introduce you. His name is Tristan. He's from the St. Louis cheer team, and he is also a flyer. Give it up for Tristan, everyone. <laughs> So what's really awesome about Tristan's story is that he just uh, started cheer about two years ago and he is a flyer. Now, for those of you at home who don't know about the cheer terms, flyers are the people who go up in the air, do twirls, do flips, basically trusting your teammates to hold you up. Yeah. Now, uh, Tristan, what made you want to get into cheer in the first place? So I first started cheer, I mean, <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. We're uh, fine. You started dance first, right? I started dance first okay. when I was a kid, and then, like, me performing on stage really, like, got me excited about cheerleading. Okay. And then, like, I first introduced to cheerleading when my sister did cheerleading. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow, that looks, seems pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I want to do this. So when I figured out, like, uh, Sacred Arts is hosting, like, like cheerleading trials for boys, yeah. I was like, hey, maybe I, I should do this mm -hmm. and should start something. And that's really awesome to hear because from you were telling me during commercial break is that St. Louis has had a cheer team before. They had a brief pause, but they just restarted this all-male cheer team. So you're kind of in a special place right now. And after your experience, you recruited your friends to join in on it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> basically that's what we did. And those are the guys who you trust? Yes. Okay, now really quickly before you perform, what made you want to become a flyer? Or whose idea was it? So it wasn't my idea to become a flyer. It was my coach idea because I was just the lightest one and oh, okay. everybody could just toss me <laughs> up in the air. <laughs> that's awesome. So how do you feel flying? I mean, what goes on in your head when you're doing it? Like, at first, I was so scared. Like, yeah. being tossed up in the air and trusting, like, just three people to catch me was yeah. quite scary. Yeah. But after a while, I got used to it, and I trusted them even more. There you go. See, now you know how the girls feel like, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, like we've been mentioning throughout the morning, cheer is a sport in our eyes because they are lifting up humans. Mm -hmm. They're doing jumps. They're having high energy, all with a smile. So that's what we're going to see, right, Tristan? Yes, sir. All right. With that being said, this is St. Louis Sacred Academy. Excuse Excuse me, St. Louis Sacred Hearts Academy cheer team. Give it up for them.
And again, this big, wow, routine wow. did so well. Now they're champions. They're nailing it. Look at that. Always such good representatives of the 808. Woo! Good job. Awesome. All right, we'll break down the stories you need to know about today. That's next on Take Two. And just ahead, new music about to hit the airways. We can expect from 